Welcome to our WordPress tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll walk you through WordPress installation procedure. But first, what actually is WordPress? A simple definition would be that WordPress is a free and open source content management system, which allows users to build and maintain dynamic websites, blogs, e-commerce portals, mobile applications, membership sites, etc. WordPress comes in two variations, WordPress.org and WordPress.com. Wondering what the difference is? WordPress.org is the home for the self-hosted content management system or blogging software, which you need to install and develop in your system. WordPress software helps to develop custom themes, modify the website, and give more controls for managing your store. This is available for free. Now, coming to WordPress.com, it is a blog hosting service provider, which can only be accessed online. It is more like a wizard with predefined store settings, a handful of themes, and options to choose from free or paid versions. Both have their pros and cons, but for our demonstration website, we'll use the most useful option, self-hosted WordPress software, as it provides more control, customization, and features support. So let's get started. To use WordPress, we are going to need a web host server. A web host server is a server used to host your website on the web and also create a database for your website. This service is provided by hosting service providers like Bluehost, HostGator, GoDaddy, and so on. Before you make your website go live, it would be a nice idea to test it on your local server. Hence, for this demonstration, we'll use a local server software called XAMPP. But don't worry, in other tutorials, we'll show you how to move your website from local server to traditional web host. The process of using the hosting service is pretty similar for your web host too, but you'll need an FTP client software like FileZilla or Cyberduck to upload your website to the web host. With the help of these softwares, you can easily upload your website and also update files on your website on web host. We'll break down the whole installation process into five simple checkpoints. Installing XAMPP, creating a database, downloading and setting up WordPress, connecting WordPress and XAMPP, and finally, installing and running your WordPress site. Okay, let's get into the process. First, download the XAMPP software from its official website. Choose the version based on your operating system. I am demonstrating this installation on Windows, hence I'll download the Windows version. But the process is similar to other operating systems too. Once the download is complete, click on it to begin the installation process. Once the installation starts, we are prompted to select the required components. Let's just keep it the same way and move on to the next step. Next, choose Installation Location. Choose Directory Location and click Next to proceed. You can also install WordPress or other PHP-based applications from XAMPP's website. But let us skip this process for now to download WordPress later. Next, wait for the software to unpack and install. Once the installation is successful, choose your preferred language settings and you'll end up in this control panel. You can find various options and settings here, but we'll look into only two options that are important for our setup. Apache, and MySQL. These are the two services we'll use for server and database, respectively. Start both these services. Moving to our second checkpoint. We have to create a database for the website. Click Admin option of MySQL to view the PHP MyAdmin interface. This interface helps to create and maintain our databases. To create a database, click the Database tab and enter a database name. For our site, we'll give the name as db underscore wp and click Create. This will create the database for our website. Now to our third checkpoint. Download the latest version of WordPress from its official website, wordpress.org. Click Download button and click the file Download indicating the latest version of WordPress and wait for the download to start. Once the download is successful, unzip the downloaded file by right-clicking it and selecting Extract All option. Select Location to Extract and click Extract. 
From the extracted file, copy the WordPress folder and paste it in the htdocs folder of your XAMPP folder. This process is equivalent to uploading your website to a web host. Next, for our fourth checkpoint, navigate to localhost forward slash WordPress in your browser to run WordPress. Here, we first set language settings. Select the language of your choice and click continue. Next, we have to enter information like database name, database username and password, host name, and database table prefix to create wp-config.php file. This file connects your WordPress site and XAMPP software, so let's enter this information. Enter database name as db underscore wp, the created database in MySQL. Enter username as root. Keep password option blank and leave database host and table prefix as it is. This is the default login credentials and you can change it if you want as we'll be just working on our own system and don't need so much authentication, we'll go with the default credentials. But when you are using a traditional web host, I suggest you choose a proper username and a strong password. In case you don't find this setup, you can enter this information manually. To do this, open your WordPress folder and find the wp-config sample.php file. Open the file and scroll down to find this part of the code. Change the database underscore name underscore here value to your database name, in our case db underscore wp, and change username underscore here to your username, in our case root, and change the password accordingly. Finally, save the file as wpconfig.php instead of wp-config-sample.php. Make sure you save it with the right name and extension. Coming back to our setup, now that you entered this information, hit Submit, and we are set for the installation. Next, run and install. For the final checkpoint, we reach the famous 5-minute WordPress installation process. Here, we enter the site title, let's keep it as the text store, enter the text, the text store. Enter username and password. Note that this username and password are different from your MySQL credentials. Remember to choose a proper username and password. Enter your email address and hit Install WordPress button. Once installed, you'll be prompted for login. Enter your WordPress username and password and click Login. And voila, you're done! You have successfully installed your WordPress software. You are now ready to start building your website, blog, or an e-commerce portal. Feels good, right? <laughs>